Now we can discuss trigonometric functions of allied angles. What is an allied angle? If theta is any angle, then minus theta 90 plus or minus theta 180 degree plus or minus theta 270 degree plus or minus theta 360 degree plus or minus theta etc are called allied angles. I already mentioned sine of minus theta that is equal to minus sine theta and cos of minus theta that is equal to cos theta tan of minus theta that is equal to minus tan theta these all are allied angles now sine of 90 minus theta this is lying in the first quadrant that is equal to cos theta and sine of 90 plus theta this is lying in the second quadrant in second quadrant sine is positive so this is equal to cos theta now cos of 90 minus theta 90 minus theta is an allied angle and this is lying in the first quadrant so this is equal to sine theta and so on now we can do a problem right the problem is a simple problem sine of 31 pi by 2 plus theta multiplied by cos 13 pi plus theta multiplied by tan of 26 pi by 2 minus theta this multiplied by cot of theta minus 57 pi divided by 2 we want to find the values of this trigonometric ratio and options are given option a is sine square theta option b is cos square theta option c is tan square theta and option d is six square theta now we have sine of this angle this angle is 31 pi by 2 plus theta we can write 31 that is equal to 4 into 7 4 into 7 is 28 28 plus 3 this is equal to 31 so this is the form 4 an plus 3 this multiplied by pi by 2 this is our angle 31 pi by 2 4 n plus 3 that is our negative y axis sin of 31 pi by 2 plus theta this is lying in the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant sine is negative the angle is measured from the y axis so this is equal to cos theta and the sine is minus since sine is negative in the fourth quadrant therefore sine 31 pi by 2 plus theta this is equal to minus cos theta right so our first angle sine of 31 pi by 2 plus theta that is equal to minus cos theta now consider the second ratio the second ratio is cos 13 pi plus theta this is equal to 13 pi 
This is an odd multiple of pi. That is odd multiple of pi. And we know that odd pi will lie on the negative x-axis. And 13 plus pi is an angle lying in the third quadrant. And in third quadrant, cosine is negative. So, cos 13 pi plus theta is equal to minus cos theta. Is equal to minus cos theta. Right. Now, consider the third ratio. Our third ratio is tan 26 pi by 2 minus theta. We can write this is equal to tan of 13 pi minus theta. 13 pi is an odd multiple of pi. Negative x-axis. And 13 pi minus theta is an angle lying on the second quadrant. And in second quadrant, tan is negative. So we get this angle is equal to minus tan theta. Now consider our fourth ratio. Fourth ratio is cot of theta minus 57 pi divided by 2. We can write this is equal to cot of minus of 57 pi by 2 minus theta. But cot of minus theta is equal to minus cot theta. So this is equal to minus of cot 57 pi divided by 2 minus theta. We can write 57 is equal to 4 into 14 plus 1. 4 into 14, that is equal to 56 plus 1, that is equal to 57. So, this is a form 4n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2. This will represent our positive y axis. Right. Now, cot of 4n plus 1 pi by 2 minus theta. In which quadrant this will lie? This will lie in first quadrant. Right. So, cot of 4n plus 1 pi by 2 minus theta. That is equal to plus tan theta minus find before this ratio so minus cot 4n plus 1 pi by 2 minus theta that can be right as minus tan theta we look at our ratio now our ratio become minus cos theta multiplied by minus cos theta that again multiplied by minus tan theta multiplied by minus tan theta. So this is equal to cos square theta multiplied by tan square theta. Now we can write tan square theta as sin square theta divided by cos square theta. Right. Now cos square theta from numerator and denominator get cancelled. So the remaining term become only sine square theta. So of this trigonometric ratio is equal to sine square theta. So option A is the correct answer.